Let's assume that you've chosen not to be any of the five houses and you want an alternative team, like you want to be a mercenary group or something. Well, this is the video just for you. Now you can go pick yourself up uh, like the mercenaries handbook and you can see a whole bunch of different mercenary groups in there. And a whole bunch of them are listed in here. And even some of the exotic ones that I'm going to talk about are mentioned in here, but sometimes only in passing. And just how cool and weird those mercenary groups are are kind of glossed over and you just don't get to appreciate it. So I'll talk through some of the more interesting mercenary groups uh, here, but you can just go pick up the source book if you want. Now, many mercenary groups either start off as an elite force in one of the house armies, such as the 21st Centaur uh, Centauri Lancers, and this is how they, they somehow get disgruntled or they get screwed over by uh, management or by royalty or the head of the house or whatever it is, something causes them to break off and become mercenaries. Another class of mercenary is basically rich kids who want to play mercenary. Some rich kids got a lot of money and they decided they want to become mercenaries. But much more interesting, at least in my opinion, are mercenary groups that aren't even really mercenary groups. They're just faking it, pretending to be mercenaries when they are nothing of that sort whatsoever. The Wolf's Dragoons falls into that category, as does the uh, Natasha Kerensky and her uh, Black Widow company within the Wolf's Dragoons. They are actually a spy agency for the clans whose only purpose in accepting job contracts is to contract with each one of the five major houses to spy on it and to see what it's like as a preamble for the clan invasion coming up in the future. The Grey Death Legion is originally a story of revenge, um, but they became famous for discovering the Helm Memory Core. But unrelated to that, their main feature is that they use a lot of vehicles. In fact, all my vehicles are painted gray to represent, roughly represent the Grey Death Legion because I want to be able to use them with any mech force. As I mentioned before, the Wolf's Dragoons is basically a fake mercenary group whose uh, job is to spy on the inner sphere. Their mechs are all black with red details. Cranston Snores Irregulars are, in my opinion, the coolest of all the fake mercenary groups. For they have absolutely no interest in money whatsoever, other than to pretend to be mercenaries and to maintain their mechs so they can continue to pretend to be mercenaries. Their mission is to find archaeological pieces and bits out of ruins, and the only reason they accept a contract is because it happens to be on a planet that has an archaeological find that they find interesting. There's a subtle hint to this. If you look at their insignias, they actually have a U.S. buffalo nickel as one of their symbols. This would be akin to us having like a some Roman coin on uh, painted on our vehicles. Another cool mercenary group, which I didn't really appreciate for a long time, are the Northwind Highlanders. These, again, are not, and you'll kind of see a suspicious Star League symbol there on a black flag at the center of their kind of little fortress here. That's because, as far as they're concerned, they are Star League. In fact, they were the private guard of the Cameron family when the Cameron family were massacred um, by Amaris for the, in the beginning of the Amaris Civil War. Maris was a trusted family friend who basically was allowed free reign inside the palace. So they are just attempting to reconstruct the Star League in any way they can because they feel like they failed to protect the Cameron family. And as far as they're concerned, they are the last survivors of the true Star League and the Cameron family. There are many other worthy mercenary groups. Uh, there are some, again, that fall into the rich kids playing mercenary 
category and others that fall into the disgruntled army units category, as well as the strange units that I described that are not even mercenary groups. Well, I strongly suggest you get the mercenaries handbook and you flip through it. Um, but now, before I leave, I'm going to reveal to you my strangest Battletech possession. Now, what could be stranger than owning the original artist's uh, work for Anton and Janos Merrick? Well, there is something. Now, whether or not this is an actual Battletech item or not is debatable, but I consider it a Battletech item. This is Jeff Leeson's Burger Tech. And who is Jeff Leeson? He's one of the inventors of D&D who also helped review Battletech when it was first being written. And here is Burger Tech. It's kind of short, small, and sweet, but it is fully playable. But basically, unless you do, well, maybe I'll even make a video of playing like a choose-your-own-adventure battle later in the future, so I won't spoil it.